Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, be conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary. Now and at the hour of her. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be thou unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and at the hour of our death, amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth, forth we beseech thee, O Lord, Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. To the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed, the mercy, mercy of God, your God rest in peace. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend, defend us, us in this day of battle. battle. We are safe against, against the wickedness and, and the snares of, of the devil. devil. And may and God restrain him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, O Prince, Prince of the, the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world in the ruin of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to God's love permits me ever to say be at my side a light and guard, a truth and guide. In the name of the Father. Amen. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Good morning. Our entrance hymn, Come, Lord Jesus. 51, 5-1. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord, come. Open my eyes, open my mind, open my heart to peace and love. Like rain falling on the thirsty ground, like grass springing from the barren earth, like the sun rising over the land, there is new life and a new rebirth. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord, come. Open my eyes. Open my mind, open my heart to peace and love. So he comes bringing righteousness, bringing justice to all the land. So he comes as a man among men, Savior and Lord of all mankind. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord, come. Open my eyes, open my mind, open my heart to peace and love. Good morning to everybody. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. 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 Christ. 
Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Psalms and Canticles, taken from week one, Tuesday. The man with clean hands and pure heart will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gaze, lift high your heads. Go higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gaze, lift high your heads, go higher, ancient doors, let him enter, the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The man, the man with clean hands and pure heart, heart will, will climb, climb the, the mountain, mountain of, of the Lord. The Lord. Praise the King of the ages in all your deeds. Blessed is God who lives forever, and blessed is his kingdom. For he afflicts and he shows mercy. He leads down to Hades and brings up again. And there is no one who can escape his hand. Acknowledge him before the nations, O sons of Israel. For he has scattered us among them. Make his greatness known there, and exalt him in the presence of all the living because he is our Lord and God. He is our Father forever. He will afflict us for our iniquities, but again he will show mercy. But see what he will do with you. Give thanks to him with your full voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. I give him thanks in the land of my captivity, and I show his power and majesty to a nation of sinners. Turn back, you sinners, and do right before him. Who knows if he will accept you and have mercy on you? I exalt my God, and my soul exalts the King of heaven, and will rejoice in his majesty. Let all men speak and give him thanks in Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the King of the ages in all your deeds. Praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the lyre, with a ten-stringed harp, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word, the heavens were made. By the bread of his mouth, all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean. He stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, and all who live in the world revere him. He spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own design shall stand forever the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord. 
the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes, and all the dwellers on the earth, he who shapes the hearts of them all, and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him and those who hope in his love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise, Praise is fitting for loyal hearts. hearts. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many people to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for faith, and that the Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. A shoot springs from the stock of Jesse, a sigh and trust from his roots. On him the spirit of the Lord rests, a spirit of wisdom and insight, a spirit of counsel and power, a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is his breath. He does not judge by appearances. He gives no verdict on hearsay, but judges the wretched with integrity and with equity gives a verdict for the poor of the land. His word is a rod that strikes the ruthless. His sentences bring death to the wicked. Integrity is the loincloth around his waist and faithfulness the belt about his hips. The wolf lives with the lamb. The panther lies down with the kid. The calf and the lion cub feed together with a little boy to lead them. The cow and the bear make friends. Their young lie down together. The lion eats straw like the ox. The infant plays over the cobra's hole into the viper's lair. The young child puts his hand and they do no hurt, no harm. On all my holy mountain, for the country is filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters swell the sea. That day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. It will be sought out by the nations and its home will be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to this Psalm is, in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice, and your poor in the right judgment. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to the earth's bounds. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak, and save the lives of the poor. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. In his days justice shall flourish 
and peace till the moon fails. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Behold, our Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, Alleluia. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you. Filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father. And who the Father is, except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then, turning to his disciples, he spoke to them in private. Happy the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see, never saw it, to hear what you hear, and never heard it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see, never saw it, to hear what you hear, and never heard it. And Jesus is talking about the promise of the Mess Messianic King, the promise of peace, of unity, of salvation, of the triumph of good over evil, of light over darkness. And yes, the prophets and the kings, Abraham and Moses and Isaac and, Mo and uh, David, they all prophesied and waited for these things. But they did not experience them. No? And, 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 and that is why Jesus is saying that those of us who come in his time, that's why he's praising God because he said, listen, we talk about the prophets and Moses and so forth, but they have not seen what, what we are seeing. They have not heard what we are hearing. So we're in a much better position than them. I don't know if you guys ever think about that. No? We're in a very much better position from them. No? In other words, we hear, we encounter, we experience Jesus' relationship with the Father. No? which he's trying to tell us about, the, the Father and the Son, and he wants to reveal that to whoever is open to receive it. And not only is he trying to tell us about the relationship of himself and the Father, but he's calling everybody to enter such a relationship of filial love and Trinitarian communion. So that is our calling. And we are not like Moses. They would not have understood what I just said. But we understand it because we have heard and we have seen many things. But only the humble of heart, not everybody, only the humble of heart, those with childlike simplicity, open minds, eagerness to learn. Humility is a fertile soil in which God's grace can take root and help us to be open to grow in faith. So that if we are not humble, it doesn't matter what God is doing. We're not going to be able to experience what the Lord is doing. But once we, we, we are that humble, and we allow the Lord to reveal to us what he wants to reveal to us, then we're able to look through the, met, the messy situation in which we live. No? We're able to look through the darkness the pain, the misery, 
the illness, the violence, and death, and we recognize the inbreaking of the kingdom. For me, that is very important. That we're able to see through all of these things, all the things that are going on in the world, it doesn't matter what, because God has revealed something to us. And through all of these, we recognize that the kingdom is breaking in. And we recognize two things. One, that we are called to enter into that kingdom. And two, that we are called to take on the role of yeast to make that kingdom grow. So it's not just about entering, but become yeast to make it grow and midwife. That through all the pains of our present reality, we bring new people to the Lord. Again, that tells us about evangelization that a lot of us don't like to hear too much, you know? But that, that's a part as of, our, of who we are, a part of our, of our identity, you know? To bring people to the Lord. To bring people to the Lord for salvation because people need hope. Yeah? They need hope. And they need to be able, just as I said, look through all the mess and see the inbreaking of the kingdom. Because if you can't do that, then you know, really, some people really, really never have any hope. And two things people like that do. Either they decide, well, I give up, or they decide to live any old how. No, that's what people do. But people with humility will look through all of the mess. Doesn't matter how difficult it is. We're able because we're humble and God reveals something to us. We recognize the kingdom is coming. And we accept our role. Embracing our role, be the yeast to make it grow. Our role, the midwife, that through all the pains, we bring new people to the Lord. Now what about the arrogant people? They're the people that will never see the inbreaking of the kingdom because they're arrogant. They already know it all. And they're pride because they believe that they know it all. They're the masters of the universe. Their pride closes their minds to God's truth and wisdom. And so most of them despise God talk. Don't talk about God. No? For them, that's just a joke. Well, that's precisely why they will never recognize the inbreaking of the kingdom. And yet, the, the, the reading started in, in a way that I don't know if you think about it, as if God is hiding things from them. No, 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 God is really, not, not literally, God is not hiding anything from them because he wants everybody to know the truth. No? It's just an idiom which says, the, an idiomatic expression that they, because God is in charge of everything, the Jews say God causes it. But what they really mean, it is really a consequence of their own mindset and decision why they will never come to recognize God and find salvation in him. However, we, God doesn't give up on them. We don't give up on them. And as long as we continue to be a witness, there's always hope that they will break down and become humble and recognize that God is coming to them to bring them salvation and life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. Our respondents. Lord, may your kingdom come. Lord, may your kingdom come. It is time for us to wake up from our sleep. The day of salvation is near. We pray. Lord, Lord may, may your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Help us to show our repentance by a new way of living. We pray. Lord, may your kingdom come. Prepare us for the coming of your word by opening our hearts to receive him. We pray. Lord, may your kingdom come. Help us to overcome our pride and to raise us from the depths of our weakness. We Lord, pray. May, Lord, may your kingdom come. Throw down the walls of hatred between nations and clear the way for those who work for peace. We pray. Lord, may your kingdom come. 
Let us lift up Francis and Jason, our bishops. Let us pray that they will encourage people everywhere to put aside pride and ignorance and to put on humility and cultivate a heart, a sim a heart of sim simplicity that they may be always receptive to God's revelation and God's goodness, we pray. Lord, may your kingdom come. Lord, may your healing power come down upon the sick, relieve them of all pain and suffering, and restore their health, we pray. Lord, may your kingdom come. Bless us, Father, with our daily needs, and may we seek you, whom we are longing for, with humility and trust, we pray. Lord, may your kingdom come. May Holy Communion grace us with childlike simplicity, with purity of heart, that we might see God and help us to experience his all-merciful love. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquities. Cleanse us from our sin. Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier and grant that as he journeyed to distant lands, out of longing for the salvation of souls. So we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may, with our brothers and sisters, eagerly hasten towards you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ Jesus, our Lord and God. For in the marvelous confession of your sins, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks in exaltation. We acclaim holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, let us now no call out to God, our Father, a God who loves us tremendously and, uh, and revealing himself to us. So let us be humble, simplicity of heart, and we shall see God. As we dare say, our, our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give to you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. My sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Come, let's share in the banquet of the Lord, in the blessed sacrament. Come, let's share in the banquet of the Lord, in the blessed sacrament. Eat the bread and drink the wine, flesh and blood of the Lord divine. Share Share in the passion of the Lord, in the blessed sacrament. Come, let's share the resurrection of the Lord, in the blessed sacrament. Eat the bread and drink the wine, 
flesh and blood of the Lord deeper. Share his life, it is yours and mine. For we are one in his design. Come, let's share in the ascension of the Lord in the blessed sacrament. Come, let's share our union with the Lord in the blessed sacrament. Eat the bread and drink the wine, flesh and blood of the Lord divine. Share his life, it is yours and mine, for we are one in his design. Come, let's share in the life of the Lord, in the blessed sacrament. Come, let's share in the love of the Lord, in the blessed sacrament. Eat the bread and drink the wine, flesh and blood of the Lord divine. Share his life, it is yours and mine, for we are one in his design. Let us, dear friends, may the act of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, our God, our all in all, our Alpha, our Omega, our beginning, our end, we believe that you are truly present in the Holy Eucharist because of your tremendous love for us, because you do not want to leave us orphans, and because you want to journey with us into eternity, Lord Jesus. We love you above all else, and we desire nothing more than to receive you into the deepest part of our being. But Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive you sacramentally, so come to us in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, embrace us. Come, Lord, and stay within us, in our hearts, in our minds, and our souls. And let us know that we truly belong to you. And help us, Lord, with the help of your grace to unite ourselves wholly and completely to you, and never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. A shoot shall spring from the stock of Jesse. The whole world shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, and all flesh shall see the saving power of God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who were his prophets from of old. A savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, 
so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called the prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A shoe shall spring from the stock of Jesse. The whole world shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, and all flesh shall see the saving power of God. Let us pray. May your mysteries, O Lord our God, kindle in us the fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you and keep you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. And have a wonderful day, my friends. Same to you, Father. Our recessional hymn, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace, 254. Make me a channel of, of your peace. peace. Where, Where there, there is hatred, let, let me bring, bring your love. love. Where there is injury or pardon, Lord, and where there's doubt, true faith in you, make me a channel of your peace. Where there's a spirit life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, holy light, and where there's sadness, ever joy. Oh, master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving to all men that we receive, and in dying that we are born to eternal life.